Do you guys remember a few videos ago? Actually, I don't even want to say a few videos. Maybe like two weeks ago. It's been a minute. I don't know. I have very bad time perception. It could have been yesterday and I think it's a month ago. But anyways, that's just me. I pulled out from the attic a big box of stuff. Actually, no, it was. Yeah, I did that. But what I found a cassette player was actually... One second. Here we go. Where I found this very cassette player was actually in a safe. We found out the code to the safe. One, seven, one, eight, four, seven. Now it's open. We ran into a dead end recently and we haven't really been getting more information about this McGinley's family. So the only logical thing to do right now is to go through any of the old stuff that we found in the attic. We found a camera, an old like telephone. I think we found like new tapes and of course this cassette player that I have in my hand right now. This is like what really caught my eye because a cassette player like what? It's either old, old music that he liked, which will be just kind of a dub thing to find out. Or it could be like a voice recording or any type of crazy information on this. So this is very valuable. I mean, all of it's very valuable, but this is what I want to go through today. So I went out of my way and I went to a local vintage store and found a cassette player. They tested it in the store and it worked, but you know, my luck, I'm going to try to plug it in right now and it doesn't work. So if that happens, I'm probably going to slam my freaking head to the window. Just kidding. <sighs> Pretty sure it's going to work. It's very, very dusty, but it should work. <sighs> Yo, thrift shops and stuff like that. You can find some crazy stuff in there. It's actually pretty dope. But I found this cassette player. I have this cassette that I found in the attic. And the only logical thing to do right now is just simply play it. You guys are gonna listen to it with me. If there's not anything on it, then I run around naked. That's the deal. Not entirely sure how to set this thing up. I'm not an engineer. Is this just the power cable? I just plug the power cable in right here. This cassette obviously just goes into where this goes. I'm pretty sure. You know, I thought this would be easy, but apparently not. I'm not. I'm just not good at anything I do. There you go. Boom. That's in. Now I need to plug it into this wire that I have over here. Oh, my camera. Hello. You guys still there? All right. I think we're. I think we're chilling. My face looks very, very oddly white right now. Oh, I feel like a ghost. Why is that happening? Hello. Can you focus, Mr. Camera? Why? 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 Why are you not focusing? All right, I think we got it. I look normal again. Okay, I got this cassette player plugged in. Again, I'm not entirely sure how this thing works. I know the lights don't work on it, so that's unfortunate, That because then that's obviously gonna help me figure it out. Now I gotta kinda do it blindly and just spin these knobs a bunch of times until I figure out if this thing's on or not. I know the power button, the power light should light up there if it was on, but again, that doesn't even work. So I gotta just mess around with it and try to figure it out. Um, One second. Ah, okay, power button right here. Now it should be on. But again, that doesn't work, unfortunate. I think this is the volume gauge right here. How does the cassette start? Oh, okay, it's paused right now. That's why, okay, it's unpaused. All right, actually, before I hit play, I'm gonna set my camera back up so you guys can hear the reaction. All I have to do is hit that play button or record. No, actually, wait, you can record over these things? I didn't even know that. What, you learn something new every day. We're gonna hear it together. I'm gonna try not to interrupt. I'm just gonna just listen very close. I don't know if this thing's even gonna work first of all, but it's just a bunch of static right now. Go play with these knobs a little bit. Trim, line, mic, uh, volume, frequency. Frequency probably is it. No, that just makes it louder, the static is louder. Wait. If you don't get these children out of my house, I'm leaving. You get them the fuck out. You're all sick and twisted. I'm gonna kill you all, and it'll be better off for the world. You are raising my own kids to be monsters. I won't allow it. Fix it. Fix the problems that you started. Fix the hundreds of families you destroyed by taking their kids. Fix our family for making our kids. You made our kids freaks. They're freaks. Fix it. This is your fault. It's all your fault for everything. You are going to burn and rot in hell, you disgusting excuse for humanity. 
You're disgusting. Go ahead. Tell Cletus, Bullis, Calvin, Ronald, Victor, Jason, Michael, Ted, Wayne, Jed, Jeffrey, Dirk, and Jeremiah that Papa is leaving because of you. Also, why don't you go ahead and tell him Bullis is dead because of you. You made me a monster and blame me for Bullis. Tell them the truth. Tell them that that was... Tell them what a monster you and what you have done. <laughs> Ronald? How the shit did you get out of your cage? Yo, what the actual poop? Yo, we just figured out. Oh man, I gotta pace around the room for it. Bro, what? We just figured out. So, <sighs> dude, I got the chills running through my arms right now. And my legs, don't forget my legs. They're running through my legs too. Yo, what? Let me take this cassette player out and save this because even though it's on video, I'm saving it. How do I take this thing out? just in case I ever need this in the long run. I've learned my lesson of throwing away evidence. Never doing that again. I don't want to take this out, by the way. No! Oh no. I just spilt my Red Bull trying to unplug that. All over my wall. I peed on my wall, you see that? I peed on it. So as I try to figure out how to get this cassette player back out of the, I don't want to break it, that's the thing. So I don't want to force it out. But as I try to get this out, dude, we just learned so much as the Duffies. First of all, I'm pretty sure he named all 13 siblings. I think, first of all, I think it was Papa. I think it was Papa that was talking the whole time. Remember, remember Papa that they keep talking about every time we come near them? That like, Papa this, Papa that. That's Papa's play. I'm pretty sure it was Papa talking to Mama. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know it was probably hard to understand, but re-watch re it if you have to listen close because I'm pretty sure it was Papa talking to Mama. Mama's the real monster. She is raising her kids to become serial killers and cannibals, and I'm pretty sure Papa was against it. Mama probably told all of her offspring Papa is the one that killed Portis. From the, from the sound of it, it looks like Papa was probably trying to help Portis and probably like freaked out and really mama probably had like a snap attack or something I don't know again. This is all assumptions I'm just trying to try to figure this stuff out and ask myself questions dude. This thing just Told us a whole freaking story. I'm gonna have to re-listen to it a few times If you guys want to go listen to this video a few times and try to figure out if you can figure out anything because you know it takes a lot of manpower and mental stability to be able to Re figure stuff out with just a simple tape. You know, after I've been doing this the past couple months, I realized how much like the police force and the FBI, how much mental stress they go through because it's 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 hard. It's hard. Every little word this man just said on that cassette means something. So I'm gonna go through it a few more times. I'm I'm pretty sure what I said though was uh, accurate so far. If I figure anything else out, I'll let you guys know. Again, we do have the camera. I don't know if there's an SD card in it, if there is any pictures in it. Oh wait, there's no SD cards back then. What am I thinking? We'll go through the camera soon. Let me know what you guys think about the camera. We'll see what kind of pictures they got on there. We also have a telephone that you guys, see, we, you guys actually saw me call it before. There's a few things, but once again, before this goes down, first of all, you need to hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications, okay? Because join the Duffies, join the family. We're pretty much freaking Sherlock Holmes. We're a team of Sherlock Holmes, okay? We're, we're investigators. We're figuring stuff out. We're hashtag saving the children. There's a movement bigger than you and I going on right now. A movement bigger than you and I. You can still help out with the movement by going to the first link, DuffnerBrand.com, and just ordering some merch. The merch profits are obviously going to be going to hashtag save the children, and we're going to be trying to fund a whole bunch of other crazy stuff to spread awareness of this madness going going on in this world. I love you guys. I have a lot of thinking to do, so I will catch you in the next one. Wait, huh?
Deuces.